grade 12 students. Welcome to our class in Media and Information Literacy. In this lesson, you are going to learn how communication is influenced by media and information. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to first describe how communication is influenced by media and information technologies. Second, you are going to perform communication. And third, you are going to choose the appropriate medium of communication. Okay, so are you ready to start? Let's begin! Before we proceed with our lesson, let us first have some unlocking of difficulties. Okay, so at this point, let's recall what these words mean. Let's have our vocabulary list. First word, affect. Affect is a verb which means have an effect on or make a difference to. Next word, analog. Analog is an adjective. It means relating to or using signals or information represented by a continuously variable physical quantity such as spatial position, voltage, etc. Third word is, we have broadcast. Broadcast is a verb. It means transmit or a program or some information by radio or television. Our next word is channel. Channel is a noun. It means access for a thing, a communication, or an idea. Next word, we have communication. Communication is a noun. It means importing or exchanging information between the transmitter or the source and then the receiver. We have more words. Our next word is convenience. Convenience is the state of being able to proceed with something with a little effort or difficulty. Next word we have digital. Digital is an adjective. It expressed a series of the digits 0 and 1, typically represented by values or a physical quantity such as voltage or magnetic polarization. Okay, now let's have next word. The next word in our vocabulary, we have emoticon. Emoticon is a noun. Otherwise, it's being known as emoji or smiley. It's a representation of a facial expression such as, you know, representing a smile formed by various combinations of keyboard characters and usually it is used to convey the writer's feelings or intended one. Let us have the next word in the list. We have evolution. Class evolution is a noun. It means a gradual development of something. Especially, you know, from simple to a more complex form. Then we have, the next word, we have influenced. Influenced is a noun. It means the capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone or something. The receiver. Receiver is a noun. It's a piece of radio or television apparatus that detects broadcast signals and converts them into visible or audible form. Then we have source. Source is a noun. It means a, it can be a place, a person, or thing from which something comes or can be obtained. Then we have speed. Speed is the rate at which someone or something is able to move or operate. Then we have technology. Technology is a noun. It's the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes, especially for industry. 
Then we have our next word, transmitter. Transmitter is a noun. It is a set of equipment used to generate and transmit electromagnetic waves carrying messages or signals, especially those of radio or television. It can also be a person or a thing that transmits something. Next, we have verbal. When we say verbal, verbal is an adjective. When we say verbal, it means relating to or in the form of words, okay? Visual is an adjective. It means relating to or seeing or sight. Then we have written. Written is an adjective. It means in writing form. Then we have www, if you're familiar with the World Wide Web. World Wide Web is a noun. It's an information system on the internet which allows documents to be connected to other documents via hypertext links which enables the user to search for information by moving from one document to another. Okay, I hope that you will always remember those vocabulary that I have just introduced to you because those words would be of great help as we go along with our lessons. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, let us first have our pretest. Are you ready? Okay, get your paper and your pen. Write only the answer. Okay, let us have a pretest. Here, you are going to choose the letter of the correct answer. And then, just write the letter of the correct answer in your answer sheet. Okay? So, let's start. Number one, which of the following is a broadcast media? A. Philippine Daily Inquirer. B. Manila Bulletin, C, DZMM Teleradio Online, letter D, GMA Channel 7. You have three seconds to answer. Time starts now. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, GMA Channel 7. Okay, let's have no number 2. Number 2, it is a piece of radio or television apparatus that detects broadcast signals and converts them into visible or audible form. A, media. B, receiver. C, transmitter. D, channel. The correct answer is letter B. Now, let's have number three. Which of this does not belong to the group? A. Messenger B. Twitter C. YouTube D. Facebook The correct answer is letter C. Let's have number four. Which is not a medium of communication? A. Short wave. B. Medium wave. C. Internet. D. Digital. The correct answer is letter D. Digital. Number five, current communication methods can be done in multi-mode through the use of A. Media B. YouTube C. Internet D. Computer The correct answer is letter C. Next number, number six, which is not a part of the process? I repeat. 
which is not a part of communication process? A. Media B. Receiver C. Source D. Speed The correct answer is letter D. Very good. Next, let's have number seven. Which of these devices cannot send a successful email? A. Mobile phone B. Xbox C. Laptop D. Workstation The correct answer is letter B. Xbox Let's proceed to number 8. Which of this is not a consideration in communicating? A. Status B. Privacy C. Security D. Intent The correct answer is letter A. Very good! Yes, let's proceed to number 9. It is the consideration for the list, effort, and time to send information to intended recipient. A. Intent B. Cost C. Convenience D. Status The correct answer is letter C. Our last number for this pretest. Let's have number 10. Which of these uses a verbal mode of communication only? A. Newspaper B. Broadcast radio station C. Twitter D. Messenger The correct answer is letter B. Good job! Now class, what is your score? Did you get a high score? If you did, great job! If not, it's okay. Your score will improve after we discuss our lesson. Okay, now, are you ready? Class, in this lesson, you will learn how media and information technology has affected communication in everyone's lives. Now, tell me, what are the effects on face-to-face -face communication and how it has affected us? Class, if you are going to notice, technology has also impacted us positively and negatively in our daily life communication. Before the evolution of technology, humans were more focused on their goals. We were more productive due to lack of distractions. We were more composed to be able to become creative due to the lack of luxury of information. You know, life was slow. The competition the competition was small due to lack of communication gap among the people and businesses. The communication was not fast and destructive. The communication was not fast and destructive, and it was not viral. However, however, class, technology speeds up the communication between people. Technology provided convenience and enabled people to use more than one method of communication simultaneously. So, isn't it amazing? Yes, it is. It is amazing. Ask, what is communication? By definition, communication is giving or gaining information by speaking, reading, or writing, or discerning nonverbal messages such as gestures and images. By this, 
We need supplying facts whenever we communicate with others. In simple matter like telling your friends what happened to you, we converse with others by communicating. It serves as our connection with each other. So, as you can see, communication is not just by talking. I repeat that. Communication is not just by talking. It can be in other different terms also. Like, sign language. writing. Do you get that? I hope you do. No class, we have different modes of communication. As I've mentioned, it can be through speaking, by sign language, by writing, and many others. So what are the modes of communication? We have verbal. When we say verbal, this is the means of communication that we do when we communicate by voice or when we talk. Just like what I'm doing right now, I'm talking to you. Okay? Okay? All right. Next, we also have nonverbal. When we say nonverbal, it is the means of communication that we do by movements or by gestures. I hope you got that. Next, next mode of communication that we have, we have written. Written is a piece of paper or material. Like, for example, it's something that you write. Okay? Again, written is when you communicate using a piece of paper or material. Next, our next mode is visual. When we use the visual mode of communication, we use pictures or any other things that will visually represent what a person is communicating. Again, I repeat, we have Four modes of communication. First, we communicate through our voice or by talking and that is what we call verbal communication. Second, we communicate by movements, you know, or by gestures, okay? So, when we communicate Non-verbally, that means we, we use our movements, we use gestures for us to deliver our message. Next, we have number three, written. Written is a piece of paper or material. So, there should be a piece of paper or material that we use when we communicate. So, when we, when we communicate, for, when we communicate like, you know, we gave letters, then we communicate in a written form meaning we don't use our voice to talk we don't use our movement instead we use a piece of paper to deliver our message to deliver our message okay next we have number four mode visual when we use visual communication we use pictures and we use other things that can visually represent what we are talking about to another person. Okay? I hope that's clear. Now, let's proceed. You know, grade 12 students, since time immemorial, doing communication can be effectively done if it complies with the process. Okay? The generation of information passed on through the channel to the recipient. This practice has been there 
since mankind learned to converse. And so, as people advance the way they communicate with other people, media and technology goes with it too. So, even at the advent of computers, we also use computers in communication to our advantage. I repeat that. Even at the advent of computers, we also use computers in communication to our advantage. Okay? In class, let's talk about the parts of communication process. So, what are the parts of communication process? Some of you may have encountered various words already when we talk about communication in oral communication in context when you were grade 11. This time, we will talk about the same, the same part of communication process. Okay, we have the first one, we have source or sender. When we say source or sender, it is where the information emanates. And when we say source or sender, when we use a certain technology to communicate, this is what we call transmitter. Okay? Okay. Now let's have number two. Number two, recipient or receiver is the person that gets the information being relayed. Now, the technology, recipient or receiver is the device that reproduces the signal back to analog form so that we can understand. Okay? Now let's have next part. The next part is we have information. No class facts provided or learned about something or someone is what we call information. Again, the facts that we provided or we learned about something or someone is what we call information. This is what is being conveyed or conveyed. It is what is being conveyed in a communication. And that's what we call information. This is something that we want to deliver. We want to deliver information. Okay? Next part, we have channel. Channel is a passage. It's a passage or the medium of access for a thing or a communication or an idea. Okay? So, when we say channel, we are referring to a passageway or a means of delivering the message. Okay? So, I repeat class. Here, we have four parts of communication process. We have the source or the sender. We have the recipient or receiver. We have the information. And we have the channel. We're done discussing the parts of communication. Let us talk about communication flow. No class, here in media and information, we have two communication flow. First, it can be one way. Now, when we say that the information, now when we say that the communication is one way, the, in, the information emanates from the source and goes to the receiver. And, you know, the information flow ends there. There is no conversation. It's one way. Okay? The information emanates from the source and goes on to the receiver. That's it. That's where it stops. The information flow ends there. Alright? Next flow, we have the opposite. We have the conversation flow. Now, the information... If you are using the conversation flow, the information origin, the information originates from the source, then it goes to the receiver, and then the roles of the former and the latter inverts as the communication goes on. So the new so the flow of communication exchange goes to and from both ends of the communication. Okay? 
So we have the we have the source, we have the receiver, then we have the source, we have the receiver. It's the opposite of one-way communication. Now class, for us to be able to differentiate the difference between one-way and conversation, let's take a look at the flow of communication and then the media and the mode of communication. Let's have newspaper. The newspaper is a one-way communication and the media can be through a broadsheet print. So the mode is written or visual. Same with tabloids. Tabloids, tabloids are broad, broadsheet print. And the mode of communication is written and visual. Now, if you are using broadcast radio station, your media would be short wave, medium wave, frequency, what else? Modulated radio, frequency signal. And your mode of communication would be verbal. There is a need for your voice. Next, let's have broadcast TV station. So I'm sure you're all familiar with TV, you know. Now, when you use uh, broadcast TV station, your media are, you have the frequency, modulated radio, and of course the frequency signal. And your mode would be, it can be verbal, non-verbal, or visual, or a combination of all these. Alright, let's have facsimile. Class, facsimile or fax machine is one-way communication. And the channel is through microwave radio frequency signal. And your mode of communication would be written and visual. Now, how about class using email like Yahoo Mail? Now, when you use email like Yahoo Mail, your media is through internet, personal computer or personal computer unit, internet capable mobile mobile device. Again, internet capable mobile device. Here you need an internet for you to be able to send an email. If you have data, yes, you can. That would do, but still, that's internet. Okay, and your mode of communication, of course, visual and written. How about class for YouTube video? Like video streaming. Now, when you are on, now when you are an audience of a video streaming, your communication is one way. One way, and your media would be using internet, personal computer, or internet, personal computer unit internet capable mobile device you can use mobile device then your mode would be verbal nonverbal and visual by the way class you may be wondering sometimes that some organizations when they do video streaming or live video streaming through youtube they can somehow have an interaction afterwards you know it's very common right now that we have this we have this chat live chat wherein we can say something there and we can you know write our message there type our message there or comment so and then we can ask questions at that point yeah but that usually happens after the video after a person discuss a specific topic meaning to say they can they cannot have an interaction really at that time at the time point that's why I'm saying that YouTube or when you are watching video streaming still one way of communication because the audience like you when you are watching you you cannot you cannot automatically say what you want to say and the person they're talking can know what you mean and can understand you quickly okay so I it's still YouTube video still considered as one way 
form of communication. Okay? I hope we're clear. Now, class, since we're done giving examples of one-way communication and the media and the mode, let us now proceed to conversation. Now, as I've said earlier, one-way communication is the opposite of conversation. Now, let's have some examples of conversation. We have online radio station. Online radio station is being done through specific uh, media and these are you must have internet, you must have personal computer unit, internet capable mobile device. And your mode are verbal, nonverbal, and visual. Online TV station, especially right now, it's very common. We have online TV station. Still, what we need, we need internet, we need personal computer unit, we need internet capable mobile device. If not, we won't be able to have this type of conversation. And the mode that we use, we use verbal, nonverbal, and visual. Now, class, how about messenger or messaging? Like, you know, you, you text, you chat, um, your phone chat, your video chat. What's your media? Of course, you know this already. You must have internet, personal computer unit, internet capable mobile device. And your mode of communication? You must have, or you may have, it can be written, verbal, nonverbal, or visual. Okay, how about the most popular social media platform? You know, the Facebook. What's the media? Or what are the media, rather? We have internet, personal computer unit, and internet capable mobile device. And your mode of communication includes written, verbal, nonverbal, and visual. Class, same thing with Twitter and Instagram, okay? I hope it's clear and I hope it's clear to you the, the flow of communication in these examples, the media used, and the mode of communication. can be affected by external factors or from the environment like news it is changing and requires the support of facts and information and therefore is affected by first media the media makes communicating a lot easier than before there is internet present today which enables us to chat with friends and families and through our phone screens and then personal computers. Again, the media makes communicating a lot easier than before. There is internet present today that, enable, that enables us to chat with our friends and families through our phone screen and through our personal computers. So as you can see, it greatly affected the distribution of information. It widened the range in just it widened the range in just a short time. There are also TV networks, radios, broadcasts, or communication with a large number of people. Newspapers, journals, tabloids, and the like are another form of communication media, and they have their own genre of communication. Okay, the next thing that you have to consider is the security. Now think about it, class. The idea of losing material things that you value or getting bodily harm that can be inflicted to both the sender and the receiver are the concerns or a security in a communication that you have to look at too. Now, ordinary images or clips during the exchange of communication may pose nothing to just anybody, but it may post many details to other people, to a con man, for example, okay? 
So you have to be very careful about that because you don't want to put yourself in a trouble, okay? For example, having a Siberian Husky dog in a picture may mean that a person holding that Husky belongs to a middle class family. And that person can be exploited to pay ransom. So, you know, giving details such as residence address or a telephone number can be used by bad people to manipulate against just anybody. And unscrupulous persons may use it, ranging from that simple name dropping to terroristic acts attribution and even to blackmailing them. So, class. Electronic details such as mobile number, ATM number, can be exploited many times as it can be. So you have to be very careful. Think of the security of the sender, of the receiver. Think of your security and so that you don't just you don't just give away information. Okay? I hope you do understand. Now, our next Next class that you have to consider is convenience. Least effort and time to send information to intended recipient would be best because that would be convenient. Okay? Then, of course, think about the cost. Next class is the cost. Next class is the cost. Sending the information with the list possible expense on the part of the source is one of the good reasons why that medium should be used for communication not the other one okay so you don't just provide information or use a, a certain mode of communication or media that costs too much for you to afford of course you have to choose that that one that won't cost you so much but of course, but if you can afford it, then go for it, okay? Okay, now class, okay, so I hope that you learned from our lesson today. Now class, if there is something that you haven't understood in the discussion, just message me and I would be very much willing to help you in this lesson. You can contact me anytime and you can message me or you can even comment or say something in our group chat i would be very willing to respond okay and those students that are unable to get the learning activity sheet last time then you can just come next distribution schedule okay no class, if you encounter difficulty in the task which I give you, always feel free to let me know because uh, we can make things easy, okay? Let's have a short recap of the things that we talked today, okay? So class, first we defined what communication is. Communication by definition is giving or gaining information through speaking, reading, writing, or discerning nonverbal messages, gestures, or images. We have different forms of communication or modes. We have different modes of communication and these are verbal, nonverbal, written, and visual. It's verbal when we communicate using our voice or when we talk. It's nonverbal when we communicate by movements or gestures. It's written if we write something in a piece of paper or material and it's visual when we use pictures when we communicate and we also talk about the parts of communication process and these are we have the source or sender this is where the information emanates and when using technology this is what we call transmitter then we have number two the recipient or receiver this is the person that gets the message being relayed and when we use technology, this is the device that reproduces the signal back to analog. So, <clears throat> it, now when we use technology, when we talk about receiver, this is the device that reproduces the signal back to analog form. 
so that man can understand it. Number three, we have the information. These are the facts provided or learned about something or someone. This is the information being conveyed in a communication. Then we have what we call channel. Channel is a way or it's a passageway or the medium of communication. We also talk about the communication flow. When we say communication flow, we have two. We can, it can be one-way communication or two-way or what we call conversation communication. It's one way when the information emanates from the source and goes to the receiver and that's the stop of the communication. It's conversation when the information originates from the source, goes to the receiver, and then the roles of the former are in the latter inverts as the communication goes. Then we're having a conversation, communication flow. In class, we were able to differentiate what one-way communication is and what's a conversation communication, what are examples of this type of communication, and the channel or the media being used for each type of communication and the mode. All right, so I hope you learned those information fast. Also, class, we talk about the two factors that affect communication mostly. Communication is affected by media and information. So it's media and information. Again, by media that we use when we convey our message and information or the information that we are trying to deliver also class for us to avoid getting trouble communicating using today's technology and media let's consider our intent or our intention when we communicate our intention should always be good and never bad then think about the receiver let's Let's uh, consider our receiver, their ability to get, to use, and to understand the message that we are conveying. Also, class, we have to remember their privacy, the senders, and the receivers. And the receiver's privacy must not be compromised at the expense of communication at any time. Okay, let's not overlook that. Also, we have to consider the security, you know. It's very important that, that we protect our security as a sender or as a receiver of a message. We don't want that we lose material things and other things that are important or things that we value so much and we don't want to get injured, get bodily harm or, you know, die just because we did not use the information correctly and properly and we did not, and just because we did not use media and information and technology properly. So class, we have to look into the convenience. What's the most convenient way of communication or media of communication? Then just let's do that. Also look into the cost. We don't want that we spend so much just to send information. Okay? So we have to look into that type of communication that we can use wherein we won't spend that much. But if you can afford opting to communicate in that way because you think it's the best way to use and you think you can handle it, then that's good. Now class, I think you're now ready for our task. Your task one for this lesson, I want you to make a short message to anybody. It can be to your family, friends, it can be for me or just anyone, to anybody. Of course, class, anybody that you know, okay? Now, mind the response of that person or group that you communicated with. And then, take note of the interaction that you have had with that person. After, after which, answer these questions. Number one, what communication mode have you just performed? A, written, B, verbal, C nonverbal, D visual. Number two, what consideration weigh much for you to decide using that particular mode of communication? 
Is it the receiver, the privacy, the security, the convenience? Is it your intent, the cost, or others? Then class, write your message. What was your message and what was the response? Again, what was your message and what was the response? Number four, why did you use that medium of communication? Two, your task two for this activity, I want you to send a communication to anybody using an image. Mind the response of that person or group of people that you communicated with, take note of the interaction, and then answer the following questions. These questions are just the same with the questions in task one. Number one, what communication mode have you just performed? Written, verbal, nonverbal, or visual? Next, number two, what conservation way much for you to decide to use that particular mode of communication? Is it the receiver, the privacy, the security, convenience, intent, cost, or others? Number three, what was your message? And what was the response? Number four, why did you use that medium of communication? I know you can do it, class. I hope you will enjoy this activity. PM in your, so just submit your answer. Now, it's time for a post-test. Let's have a short quiz. Let's see if you were able to understand our lesson today. Okay, get your paper and pen, and then write the letter of your answer. Are you ready? I, I know you are. Now let's start. Which is not a part of communication process? A. Media. B. Status. C. Source. D. Receiver. Again, number one, what is not a part of communication process? A. Media. B. Status. C. Source. D. Receiver. The correct answer is letter B, status. Let's have number two. Blank is the person or thing that generates information to communicate. A, media. B, receiver. C, transmitter. D, channel. I repeat, number two, it is the person or thing that generates information to communicate. A. Media B. Receiver C. Transmitter D. Channel The correct answer is letter C. Transmitter Okay, now let's proceed to number three. Which of these is not a consideration in communicating? A. Security B. Privacy C presentation d intent i repeat number three which of this is not a consideration in communicating a security b privacy c presentation d intent the correct answer is letter c presentation okay now let's continue let's have number four number four which of this does not belong a. YouTube B. Twitter C. Messenger D. Facebook I repeat, number four, which of these does not belong? Letter A. YouTube Letter B. Twitter Letter C. Messenger Letter D. Facebook The correct answer is Letter A. YouTube why? Of course, because Twitter, Messenger, and Facebook are social media platform. And through this, you can, tw you can send a message and get an automatic re response if that person is online. Next, let's have number five, which is not a medium of communication. Letter A, shortwave. Letter B, analog. Letter C, internet. Letter D, medium wave. I repeat, 
which is not a medium of communication? A. Shortwave B. Analog C. Internet D. Medium wave The correct answer is letter B. Analog Now class, let's have number 6 Okay, number 6 Current communication methods can be done in multi-mode through the use of A. Internet B. YouTube C. Mobile phone D. Computer I repeat, number 6 Current communication methods can be done in a multi-mode through the use of A. Internet B. YouTube C. Mobile phone D. Computer The correct answer is letter A now class let's have number seven which of the following is a broadcast media letter a philippine daily inquirer letter b manila bulletin letter c gma channel seven letter d dzmm teleradio online i repeat number seven which of the following is a broadcast media a philippine daily inquirer b manila bulletin c gma channel 7 d dzmm teleradio online class the correct answer is letter c now let's have number eight which of these devices cannot send a successful email i repeat which of these devices cannot send a successful email? A. Mobile phone B. Laptop C. Xbox D. Workstation I repeat, number 8. Which of these devices cannot send a successful email? A. Mobile phone B. Laptop C. Xbox D. Workstation The correct answer is letter C. Xbox Now, let's have number 9 Blank is the consideration for the least effort and time to send information to intended recipient I repeat Blank is the consideration for the least effort and time to send information to intended recipient A. Convenience B. Cost C. Intent D. Status The correct answer is letter A. Convenience Now class, we've reached our last number, number 10. Which of these uses a verbal mode of communication only? A. Newspaper B. Broadcast radio station C. Twitter D. Messenger I repeat, which of these uses a verbal mode of communication only? A. Newspaper B. Broadcast radio station C. Twitter D. Messenger The answer is letter B So class what is your score? Count the number of the correct answer. Did you get a high score? Did you get 10? If you got 10, wow, very good. You did very well. If you got, got 5 to 9, great job. 5, if you got 4 and below, better watch this video again. Class, I hope you've learned a lot in today's lesson. I'll see you in my next video. This is Teacher Marge, your teacher in media and information literacy. Goodbye!